League of Legends has a pretty standard system for disciplining its players. 9 times out of 10, if you were banned, there's a high chance you deserved it. However, today I want to take a look at players who were for the most part playing by the rules and still got banned for weird reasons. From being banned for abusing bugs, all the way to being suspended for spoiling a movie in the chat. We'll be taking a look at all of this and more, but first, I want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon is a brand focused on making high quality audio products. Such products have been used by celebrities like Snoop Dogg and even Mike Tyson. You know, the guy from that video game back in the day. Raycon offers their earbuds in a wide range of different colors and patterns. However, this technology is known to be rather expensive. So that's where Raycon comes in. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. Their everyday E25 earbuds are currently the best way to go. With 6 hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design. Get yourself a pair of Raycon E25 wireless earbuds at 15% off when you visit buyraycon.com slash Nikolai. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Jumping into the video, we get straight into it with number 5, being banned for spoiling a movie in the chat. If you were at all active on the internet around April of 2019, you would be quite familiar with the phenomenon of people spoiling Avengers Endgame on social media. Endgame was the final closing chapter to a very extensive and very popular movie series. So as you can imagine, many people didn't want to be spoiled on how the movie ends. But on the flip side, many people thought it was really funny to be the one who spoils the movie for others. As of the last couple years, it has become a trend for people to find creative ways to spoil the ending of certain movies. And here you are minding your business playing a casual game of League of Legends when suddenly someone types in the chat, Iron Man dies at the end of Endgame. Well, user laptop guy on Reddit did exactly this, and after being reported by players in his game, it seemed his report was manually dealt with by a Riot employee. This is the exact email the player received. I know that you were excited to discuss the latest Avengers movie with others, but spoiling it for the players that might have not seen it yet isn't cool. At this time, your account has been issued a 3 day suspension due to this disruptive behavior. In the grand scheme of things, 3 days is not that big of a deal. But the theme of being punished for Avengers spoilers actually carried on. In this reddit post, other commenters suggested that they also had been banned for posting spoilers in the chat. Other commenters pointed to a lack of consistency from Riot, because in 2017, an official Riot Games Twitter account said that they wouldn't ban people for spoiling shows. To be fair, they said shows and not movies. However, they were actually consistent when it came to defending Avengers spoilers, as during this time a professional player from Brazil had actually been playing with an account named Tony Kills Thanos. And then I guess after being reported multiple times, Riot forced him to get a new name. And believe it or not, this wouldn't be the first or last time that Riot makes people change their names over bizarre reasons. This takes us into number 4, being punished for your name. At the end of any League of Legends match, you are given the option to report a player. And within the report menu, there are multiple options you can choose to report said player, including the final option, offensive or inappropriate name. This is used to combat players who go around with offensive names. Pretty self-explanatory. However, on April 14th, 2020, I saw one of the most bizarre Reddit posts I had ever seen. Riot is forcing me to change my name due to coronavirus. The post is rather long and his email screenshots are a little longer, so I'll give you a quick rundown instead. This guy had been playing League of Legends under an account named Squid Corona for the past 6 years. His reasoning for choosing his name is simply that his favorite animal is a squid, and Corona is his real life surname. Anyway. Out of the blue, somewhere within Riot Games, it was decided that using the word Corona in your username would now be against the rules. Meaning that if you tried signing up with a username using any variation of the word Corona, it wouldn't work, and already existing accounts would now be forced to change their names. And when I personally read this, I couldn't believe what I was reading. The word Corona is not offensive or anything. 
It's a real standalone word. In Spanish, it literally just translates to crown. And furthermore, it's genuinely this guy's real last name. He states in his post that he even ended up sending pictures of his photo ID to prove to Riot that his username refers to his surname. But anyway, apparently this guy went through multiple back and forth emails trying to get this whole thing sorted. Riot's initial response was to say that his name will be sent back for review and to be potentially whitelisted. Well, they came back to him later and said that the name will not be whitelisted. He will have to create a new name. It was at this point when our squid friend decided to express his frustration on the League of Legends subreddit. The post received a lot of traction and at 19,000 upvotes, a Riot employee responded to the situation. We don't think forcing a name change in this instance is in line with our policies, so we'll be looking into the situation. The replies to this comment were stating how absurd it was that this guy had to create some online outcry for him to get his issue resolved. But regardless, it is what it is, and after this comment, the user left an update saying thanks for the pressure Reddit, Riot has given me my account back. Next up, for number 3, we take a look at players who were banned for abusing bugs. On April 24th, 2020, Riot's parent company Tencent publicly announced that they had banned over 3,000 League of Legends accounts owned by players who abused a specific bug. Here is some necessary context. Players discovered that the champion Orn had an abusable bug that would allow him to hit everything in the game. This included jungle monsters, minions, and of course champions which is incredibly overpowered if used at the right time. Now, here's why I'm including this in this video. One, it's pretty interesting. Seeing a number attached to specifically how many players got banned over one action is something we don't often see. And two, moments like these always bring some sort of conversation on whether or not this should be a bannable offense. The defense here is that Riot made the mistake of letting this ability be abusable. Should a player be banned for simply using the tools he's been given? They are not hacking nor using a third party program. So an argument can kind of be made. But of course, discussion aside, you should clearly know that what you are doing is putting your opponents at an unfair disadvantage. So if you decide to abuse a bug that is clearly unfair, don't be surprised when Riot says you weren't supposed to do that. Moving forward on a similar note, for number 2, imagine getting banned because of someone abusing a bug against you. As you may be aware, in 2020 we've had a couple bugs appear that allow certain champions like Poppy, Alawi, and Kane to hit everyone in the game from their fountain. This is similar to the Orn thing, but way more effective. A better comparison would be the Xerath bug that happened in 2017. But the reason I'm talking about it in this video is because players who died an absurd amount of times in these poppy games were actually banned for intentionally feeding. Now I looked around for the banned accounts, checked their op.ggs, etc, and it seems that within a day Riot unbanned these players. I am not however sure if they got their honor levels back, nor do we know if they got their LP back. But from past experiences, it's been pretty standard for Riot to never give back LP, even for situations as unfair as these. Although on a positive note, it seems that they also banned the players exploiting the bugs. Hey, I'm actually in the middle of editing this video, but while looking at some of the Poppy accounts, I found that some are not banned at all. I thought I should let you know. Alright, carrying on. Now since then, the bug should officially be over, but you know how it goes with these kind of things. They could be back tomorrow like it's nothing. Finally for number 1, we revisit a classic. The time Riot Games banned a player for simply playing the game in a way that no one else was playing. This was a pretty viral issue when it happened, so I'll try to tell the story in fast forward. In 2016, there was a pretty major drama featuring a cinched main who would exclusively play cinch support with Smite. This is something which no one really did at the time. Due to this fact, this player was often reported by his teammates, who thought cinched was trolling. Except, he wasn't. He was actually trying his best. Also, by the way, it should be mentioned that he's the highest mastery cinched main in the world, with almost 10 million mastery points. But anyway, after hundreds of games like this, and after who knows how many reports, 
Riot essentially told him he's gotta stop playing Synth support or else he would be at risk of being banned. Once this information got out, this created outrage online and eventually Riot made some public announcements on this topic. But there's tons of good in-depth videos online about the situation, so I won't go too deep into these old details. Instead, when revisiting this 3-year-old case, I was curious. Is he still doing this? And the answer appears to be no. I can't exactly see when he stopped, but in Season 10 he's definitely kept his Singed away from supporting. In fact, I should point out that maybe Riot was right. Because currently, if this player stopped playing today, he would end the season on his highest rank ever. For comparison, in his infamous support season, he ended in Gold 5 with 5 LP. And as of making this video, our prolific Singed main sits at Platinum 4, 72 LP with 809 games played of Singed. But alright guys, let me know what you think about these bans in the comments down below. And if you have any stories about you yourself being banned unfairly, let me know about that as well. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you again next week.